Hi, my name is Sorsa. I'm a nutritionist, healthy lifestyle blogger, and fitness instructor from Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a few really simple exercises you can do if you're recovering from illness. Personally, I have a chronic illness, so I know how difficult it can be to build back that muscle you've lost whenever you were ill. These exercises are really simple. They don't take up a lot of energy, but doing them a few, for a few minutes every day will definitely help you build back that muscle. Now, as you've probably noticed, I have a few things beside me. This is a yoga block. They're not very expensive. You can get them most places. Um, I can't actually remember where I got mine. But they're also not necessary for this exercise because you can use anything. You can use a book, you anything. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to sit straight. And actually, if you find it very difficult to sit up straight, you can sit against the wall and do it. But I'm just going to sit like this to show you. You are going to have one leg up like this, another leg straight. You need to push your knee into the mat or the floor as much as you can. So you should feel this muscle here, your quad, activate. Then you are going to lift that leg over the block. And you keep doing that. And then obviously you will do the other side as well because you don't want uneven sides, but you will find that one side will be stronger than the other side. So you'll find one side will be able to go for longer than the other side. That's normal. So that is the first exercise. The second one, I'm going to use this. Now, if you don't have one of these, it's okay. If you have a normal TheraBand, you can just tie it in a loop. But what you're going to do is you're going to have it like this and you're going to pull it apart. Now you could literally do this sitting watching TV. And that is going to build up our muscles, also muscles around here because you're using your chest. So that's the second exercise. The third one is... You can do it from behind. So you're going to wrap it round. Obviously, if you don't have a really long band, this isn't an issue, but you're going to have it from behind and you're going to pull it out. So I'll show you from this way. You're going to pull. And this is getting your back muscles. Activated. So that is your quads, your arms, then there's your core. When you're ill, you're probably lying in bed or not moving about a lot. So your core is going to lose a lot of strength. Things like sit ups and um, planks are a great way to build up your strength. So if you were to just do a 30 second plank, so I like to do my planks like this. Now you wanna make sure your butt's not sticking up in there like that, or it's not way down here like that, cause if it's down here like that, it will hurt your back as well. So you want a nice straight line. Your gaze, you're gonna be looking there. So pretend there's like a spot there. You can also do it with your arms down like this. And you can also do it with your knees on the ground. So, like that. Holding a plank for 30 seconds to one minute every day will definitely give you an improvement in your core strength. And also, you've got your C-sits. So, feet on the ground, you're going to go up as if there's a bar there 
and then curled up. Up. Pull the bar back, curl down. Now, <laughs> in the beginning, you might only be able to do five, six of those. That is absolutely fine. Work up. Try and add on one more every day. And before you know it, you'll be doing 50, <laughs> maybe 20. <laughs> but they're really good. They will build your core strength up. And you need your core strength for balance, Basically, core strength is everything. So those few exercises, they're just a few that you could do that aren't too difficult and will help you build up your strength so you can get back to doing whatever you do.